All right, guys, I'm just going to finish up this workout, then I'm going to head out on my bike, and I'm going to explain to you how I got started in calisthenics. See you soon. Hey guys, I'm back, just on a bike ride on a little trail behind my house. So, how I got started in calisthenics, I remember I was first exposed to calisthenics about six years ago. I remember watching those uh, thug workout videos, Rough Rider thug workout videos on YouTube. I remember seeing those guys and thinking, these guys are strong. I'm like, that's where I want to be with my strength. Like, that's exactly what I want to do. And I remember trying a few of the stuff they were doing, just completely discouraged, just like, I can't do any of these things. I thought I was strong. I remember working out five, six times a week and I thought I was strong at the time. But trying these things it put me in my place. I remember kind of backing off on it, backing off on it a little bit. And I remember just sticking to one skill. I picked a handstand. But I was still going to the gym consistently. After my workouts, I do handstand for about 30 minutes after. And about eight months to a year, I finally got to a point in my handstand where I was like, wow, I'm actually holding a handstand. At that point, I was like, if I can achieve the handstand, why couldn't I achieve these other things that these guys were doing in the videos? So I decided to get back to calisthenics. This was about four years ago. And then uh, I remember searching the internet again and seeing Frank Medrano, the vegan beast. I saw this guy do things that I've never seen before. And, he's, and he was vegan, you know, I'm vegan too. So it was, it was huge. It was huge for me to see a vegan athlete like he was. He had a bunch of programs he just released. And I remember buying one, I think it was an eight week program. By the end of it, I was just shredded. I was doing so well. And then of course, when you're doing so well, something always, something bad always happens. And I had a major injury. Uh, my friend at the time, we were playing Frisbee in the park and she actually tossed a wide one. I dove for it, landed right on the top of my left shoulder. And I don't know if you can see it, but I actually have a huge scar. Broke my collarbone in four pieces. Eight inch metal plate, eight screws in there and spent the whole weekend in the hospital. I was discouraged. I was kind of upset about hindering my, my progress, obviously, but at the end of the day, everything happens for a reason. And of course, that friend at the time, she was just a friend. Four years later, she is my wife. We ended up falling in love because she stayed with me that whole time in the hospital. Kind of grew a connection and just inseparable ever since, best friends ever since. After that, I couldn't really do anything for two years because of the metal plate was kind of bothering me. There's not a lot of meat on the collarbone. So obviously it was sticking out a lot. It was achy in the winter and I just, I didn't like it. So I kind of backed off on calisthenics. I got back to the gym, doing more exercise, rehab work, started learning more about uh, calisthenics. You know, I, I just figured if I can't do it, I might as well educate myself, but got a couple books, started studying. And by the end of the two years, I was just like, I have to get this plate out because it just, it hurts too much and I can't put that pressure on it. I made the decision to get the plate out, got the plate out, but of course I, I couldn't do anything after that because my collarbone was still weak. So I kind of had to wait another year before I could do anything. December 2017 is when I finally started, which was about six months ago. Six months ago to now, I've been progressing fast. I've been working really hard. I've been working on my shoulder mobility. I've been working on a lot of things so I don't get injured. And that's way more important than learning these skills. Learn those things because if you get injured, you're just going to get set back. You know what I mean? So just focus on 
prehab, if anything, focus on mobility, focus on other things than just working out. The reason I'm making this video is kind of just a motivation. You're watching Instagram all the time, you're seeing YouTube all the time, and you're seeing guys do things that you don't think is possible, right? It's kind of superhuman. I just want to tell you that it seems impossible at the beginning. All you got to do is stick to it, you know, be consistent, practice your progressions, practice your patience, and I promise you, you stick to that. You know, it takes about six months to learn something, minimum six months, if you're, if you're steady and you know what you're doing. Six months to a year to two years, I, it just never ends. That's the great thing about calisthenics, it just never ends, it's endless. I mean, you learn one thing and there's just different ways to manipulate that move, to elevate it and make it even harder. It just goes to show that everything does happen for a reason, you know what I mean? You might, you might have a, a moment when your progress, is, your progress declines, you might have a low point, you might have a point when you don't feel like you're progressing at all. It's better to take a step back and start from start from scratch than to hurt yourself again or rush. You know what I mean? Like I said, don't be discouraged if you come to a low point. If you come to a point where you're plateauing, don't be discouraged. Ask around. I mean, don't have ego. I mean, the one thing you can't have in calisthenics is ego because ego is going to tear you down. Ego is not going to help you progress. You need to accept answers. You need to accept uh, constructive criticism. If you accept that, I mean, you're going to progress far. And I guarantee it. I guarantee it. So don't, don't wallow. Don't. Don't think you're better than anybody just kind of learn from people i'm watching videos all the time and i'm learning you know what i mean i'm still studying i'm still doing a lot of things because i want to learn as much as i can about calisthenics and there's no point of st staying on that high horse and thinking you're better than ever because you're not going to learn you're not going to get further there's still so much to learn it doesn't end it doesn't end you can learn something from anybody even if you know how to do a perfect planche you might learn something that you've never known before that might help you improve just have no ego in this industry and just support each other that's the main thing just keep going guys, just keep going. Peace.